Hello and welcome to the Out of the Sandbox video guide to the Turbo 2.0 gallery page. Today we're going to walk you through the steps necessary to set up a gallery page that looks just like this one using the Shopify sections interface and some configurable content blocks. Now these instructions are a little bit different than what you might be used to if you're coming from a different Out of the Sandbox theme or if you're coming from a previous version of Turbo. So I'd like to point out the differences here so that they're all clear. So here I am on my Shopify admin panel where I have a version of Turbo 2.0.9 loaded up as my current theme. And from here I can head over to Pages to see that I've already added a page. You can title the page as you wish. I have titled it Gallery. And then you can add some content to the field if you'd like here. I've added just a paragraph of placeholder text. But you can leave that field blank if you'd like, if you were just planning on showing the images on the gallery page. The important part here is to come over here to the template and choose the page.gallery template from your list of options. With that saved, if you have configured other pages on the Shopify sections platform, you know that after creating the page, you need to make a way of navigating to the page. So I've done that here in the navigation settings. I've created a link within my main menu that goes directly to that gallery page. Great. Now when I jump over to Themes and Customize Theme, to access the settings of that gallery page, I just navigate to the gallery page using the link I've created. And we see here on the left, the settings have changed to reflect the gallery template. As I open that up, we see we've got a few settings for the layout of the gallery, but those won't mean anything until we start to add some images as content. So all you need to do for that is click Add Image, and then upload the image of your choice here. I'm going to go through and add some of my favorite gallery images. Great, so here we have a selection of our favorite images, and they've all been added to the gallery. The best part about these content blocks is that you can just click and drag to reorder the images in the order that they appear there on the page. And then it's easy enough to swap out one of these images or remove it or add a new one. You see with this current layout that there are several gaps between the rows of images. That's because these images are inconsistent in their dimensions. They're not the same proportions or different sizes. So using this classic gallery style may not be the best option for when you're using images with inconsistent proportions. So if we flip that over to say this masonry style here, can see what that looks like, where it's following the same number of images per row, but the idea of a row has in a sense been broken, allowing for this masonry style layout. Here's the horizontal style of layout that you see here. And then that can, any of these styles can be enabled to display full width. They're all responsive as well, so resizing the window will have different effects depending on the style that you choose, but all of the images will be visible regardless of which of those styles and regardless of the size of the window. The images per row setting here applies whenever we've got the masonry or classic style enabled. We can change the number of images that appear here in a row. And then finally, we've got the divider that will appear between the title and whatever you have input into the content field of your gallery page. And that's all there is to it. This is how you configure your gallery page using these configurable content blocks. If you hit any snags or you had any questions, head on over to support.outofthesandbox.com where you can look up your question and find a plethora of resources to help you out. My name is Sean Campbell. Thanks for joining me for this video guide. Take care.